Romero Brito is a contemporary artist that lives and works in Miami, Florida. He taught himself how to create art at age eight. He would paint on any scraps of cardboard that he could find. His art uses bold patterns and bright colors. Today we will create a heart artwork incorporating the American flag. All right, we're gonna create our Romero Brito um, artwork using the flag as part of our inspiration as well for Memorial Day. So I have a piece of paper sitting horizontally. If you have a square piece of paper, you can use that. Mine's a rectangle, so I'm gonna stick with that. I want to draw a really big heart in the center of my paper. So I'm just gonna get my pencil ready. I'm gonna have a Sharpie. You can use a pencil in case you wanna erase. I'm finding the center and I'm gonna go up a little bit. We're going to do the one side of the heart. It's gonna be like a candy cane shape. So I'm gonna place it. I did a little bit of air drawing and now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start going up towards the edge of my paper, start turning, curving, going slowly. Think about where your line's going and I'll go all the way to the end. So I have one half of my heart. Now the other half of my heart's gonna go the other way. So I'm gonna practice with my finger first. When I'm ready, come up, out, around, and back down. There's my heart. So we're gonna do the flag inside the heart. And when we look at our flags, we know that we have a square in the corner, and then there's 50 stars, one for each of the states. And then we have stripes going across our flag, and we know that we have 13 red and white stripes to symbolize the um, 13 colonies. So I probably won't be able to get 50 stars in, but I want to put the blue square somewhere here in the corner like that and then I'm gonna do my stripes down the side Now you can think about what you wanna do for your stars. It might be hard to draw stars. Maybe you wanna do circles or triangles. If you wanna do stars, you can do stars. There's lots of different types of stars you could do. Or you could do your circles, something that represents those stars. Now we're gonna divide our background, which is the rest of this white paper, up into sections. So I'm gonna put my marker on an edge of my heart and draw a line all the way to the edge of my paper. I don't want too many because in each section, I'm going to do different type of pattern that I'm gonna color. So maybe this section, I want to do a wavy line pattern Maybe over here, I'll do polka dots. Maybe on this one, I want to do the zigzag lines. Add two more sections. Maybe here, I want to do, hmm, what's that little spirals? And last one. Maybe I'll do diagonal lines. When you're ready, you can get your coloring supply. I'm just gonna try to find all the reds and blues that I can find and pull them out. If you don't have like a big pack of um, crayons like I do, you could use crayons and markers and colored pencils. Those will give you different shades. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and 
color. Now, if you did this in pencil first, you could always go ahead and outline everything with a black marker or uh, crayon, oil pastel. If you have paint, you could paint this instead. You don't have to use crayons. Whatever you have lying around would be great. And I'll get my red. I like to do my edges first. Here, I picked up some watercolors. Let's see how it looks with a little bit of watercolors. Get my brush wet, spin my brush. I also brought some oil pastels. You can even use markers. So we have our red, white, and blue flag. Now I'll work on the um, outer edges, maybe. Do some polka dots here. Maybe on this one with my spirals, I could use a whoopsie. I could use a white crayon or oil pastel and go over those spirals. And now, if I had paint, I'm gonna go over this. Wherever I did my oil pastel will resist the paint, push it off and then it will show up like magic. Last one. Try markers. I wouldn't even need to fill up these whole spaces. I could even do some patterns in between here.
And there we have a Romero Brito inspired Memorial Day artwork. We used shapes, different lines, and lots of different patterns to create our flag piece.